So we're all going to have a quick crack at you now, Chris, with a, some quick questions. Can't wait. Um, why on earth are you forcing Daisy Pearce to retire and come in and help you coach at Geelong? <laughs> have you been watching her lately as she leads Melbourne into another final series? Well, she looks like she's got a bit left in her. I have been watching her. Mm. Yep. So, so what do you think she'll do? Do you think she'll come to you or do you think she'll play on for another year? Well, if she wants to play, she should play. But I think she's uh, got the potential to be outstanding in administration or coaching um, and she's certainly thinking about life after footy. She clearly thinks that this media game is a bit shallow for her. Chris, <laughs> oh, whack. You, get another, you get another chat with your brother. What rule would you change? What do we need to do? Well, I, I thought for a while that it would be worth having a look at the Gaelic footy rule, which is you can't pick up the ball unless you're on your feet. I think that would clear out congestion better than anything we've tried to this point. Stops guys sliding in. I like players that keep their feet full stop, but that's the one I'd look at. Mm -hmm. We've covered off your assistant coaches. Out of all of them that's been under you, who should coach AFL football? Well, Nigel Lappin should, uh, but, he, but, he, but he won't. Um, we've got two guys um, in our um, system now that I think have well and truly got the capability to be head coaches. But I'm not going to name them publicly. It's a bit early. Chris, in 2015, Stevie J was moved on, James Kelly, Matthew Stokes, and then 2016, Jimmy Bartell and Corey Enright. What was the toughest exit interview of all of those players? Uh, can I have one that wasn't on the list? Yes. I think, um, I've, I've said it a few times, I don't know whether it's been as public as, as this forum, but the, James Podsy, Podsy Adley was a premature um, retirement, in my opinion. He probably should have played one more year. Made and, by you? Uh, no, none of these are made by me. No, these are all list management okay. decisions. So more so than the coach? List management. Okay. Yeah, but we run a program where we'd like to think that we all talk about it, and um, there have been some decisions that I've disagreed with. But in the end, you know, it's if it's four on one, the four prevails. Yeah. Should Ross Lyon be coaching the Carlton Football <laughs> Club? Oh well, I've got a soft spot for Michael Voss, obviously, but and I think he'll do a really good job. But I think Carlton would have been hard to beat with Ross coaching them. Um, yeah, I think he. He is a glutton for punishment, so ignore what I said about my brother a year ago. Yeah, get him back into it. Be good for the game, I reckon. But you couldn't persuade him to come and work for you. I think you had a crack. Well, I tried. Yeah, year. I tried. He was. He he said he couldn't give. <laughs> he couldn't give any time on Monday because he put so much work into this show. <laughs> it's actually normally on a Wednesday night, but anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, we and look, you know, the, the 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 more complete story is we. I've always had a lot of respect for Ross. He. He did something for me in 2011 in the pre-season when I was a 34-year-old, untried, nervous coach. Um, when I ran into him at the airport, we played a year together, but completely at the opposite ends of our careers and, and didn't really know each other. But he gave me 15 minutes that you know I'll never forget. And then we went on to coach some international rules together. Um, and I sort of always had in the back of my mind, if I got the chance to work with him full time, I'd like to do it. But He's too entrenched with you guys, What'd you unfortunately. Say to him? <laughs> what was your 15 minutes? Let's get a good bottle of red. <laughs>